Hey friends, today I am at Disney Springs and if you recall the last video I put out I went to Epcot and said farewell to our beloved Club Cool because it was closing and it was the last day. So today I wanted to come over to Disney Springs, show you the Coca-Cola store and let Beverly have its revenge. Let's go do this. You said we already knew, more or less. Well here's something that you didn't know. And right at the top of the Coca Cola store. They have a very similar concept that Club Cool once offered, but it is something that you need to pay for. And they have a whole bunch of different types of sodas from around the world, including some of our favorites from Club Cool. And they even have a Beverly mixed drink that I am just very excited to try. I remember years ago, maybe two years ago, I did try the Beverly's Revenge, but I'm not sure if I liked it. I can't remember. I think it tasted like a gin and tonic. So we're gonna, you know, take a sip and refresh the memory. Maybe before we get to the top level, we'll stop at the second level to meet a beloved polar bear. Wow. Kind of a cool little walkway they have to get up to the second level. I should have taken the elevator since I plan on going all the way to the top, but I'm glad I came in here. A little brick, a little Coca-Cola glass with ice, and liquid. Taste the feeling. So they do have a meet and greet with the Coca-Cola polar bear here. And fun fact, it's included with your Disney photo pass. So if you have an annual pass or you bought the memory maker, you can come down here and use it for a nifty photo with the polar bear. And it's really cool because it looks like you're going into an ice cavern. Ooh, look at the ground even. Oh. Wow, such a nifty floor. Huh. Hello, little guy. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, you're just swimming, aren't you? Whoa, hey! really cool meet and greet so once you get done with your photo they're gonna give you a little card and you come out to like their photo kiosk center and they'll link that right up to your memory maker or your annual pass that includes it they have a real lot of cool coca-cola home goods in here and a plethora of different types of actual coca-cola bottles and like these are actually bottles with coke inside them I shook them up oh maybe I shouldn't do that I'm so sorry don't use that one but let's get to our destination, up to the beverage bar on the third floor. And just click at a button here. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> and here we are, the top floor. Check it out. So nice up here. Wow, the views are spectacular. I love it up here. And here is the beverage bar, and it has non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks. And there it is, Beverly's Revenge. Yep, just like a gin and tonic with a little bit of orange and blackberry liqueur. But 
Also, to go with the Beverly's Revenge, I'm going to get the international tray and it costs $10 and it comes with 16 different types of sodas from around the world. Kind of like Club Cool. In fact, some of them are actually the sodas that were in Club Cool. So I'm excited. They do offer an annual pass discount for the non-alcoholic, well, the international flight or tray. And I'm going to use that and I don't know, there's going to be a lot of carbonation happening here. Here is my international tray, and look at all that soda. It's a double-decker. So excited. Here is the Beverly's Revenge. Altogether, it cost me $23. I saved a dollar on the tray, which is only $9, and then this drink right here is $13. It comes with a little guide map to let you know what drink is what drink and where it's from, so that's pretty fun. And here is all the different types of sodas. As you can see, we have Beverly and Inca Cola. And I think that's all, actually. Yeah, that is all of the ones that were actually at Club Cool. All the other ones, all brand new, different ones. I'm excited. Very excited. But I think first thing first, let's try Beverly's Revenge. It's a very pretty drink. Oh, I'm spilling it a little bit. Oh, man. I just spilled like an ounce, that's three dollars. But I'm excited, like I said, I have tried it before. I can't remember if I did like it or not, but we're gonna find out right now. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but for $13, it's not something I would wanna sip on regularly. If you like gin and tonics, I would highly recommend it. And the orange in it actually mixes very good with the Beverly. I never thought about that, but Beverly kind of tastes like the last bite of an orange. Definitely want to mix that around a little bit. Well, now I want to get into some of the international actual sodas. So we're going to try the Fused Berries Tea, which is on tray two. I'm not going to be able to just sit here and go through each one of them and tell you what I think because they are 16, but I'll definitely let you know which ones I don't like and which ones I really like. And it's really cool because if you just look down into the cup, you'll see the numbers like one, two, three, four, and so and so. So this one is three and it's from Georgia, Fuse Berries Tea. They give you a cup of ice because, I mean, you're not going to drink these very quickly, so you got to keep them cool. I like it. It's okay. It tastes like raspberry tea. I mean, it's literally what it tastes like. Lingonberry from Sweden. Oh, that's got a kick. I'm finding out the hard way that this is not a one person job. I should have asked a friend because uh, I'm not going to finish all those sodas. When it hits you, yes, 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 you shine. When it hits you, yes, 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 yes. When it hits you, yes, 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 you shine. Very random, but this one is from China and it's called Smart Watermelon. But why is it orange? I think I'm admitting defeat on this one. I'm already starting to feel a little bit gassy. But wow, what a great experience with great views. The Apple Kiwi, definitely my favorite. I really enjoyed it. The Lindenberry, not so much. It wasn't that great. But there were some other great ones. I mean, the thumbs up was pretty good. 
Uh, the Fuse Berry Tea kind of just tasted like raspberry tea. No matter what, it is a great experience. And for $10, it's not a bad deal. The Beverly's Revenge though, 13 bucks, you must really like gin and tonic or Beverly. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm not really, I'm not a big gin and tonic kind of guy. But if you do decide to get the actual international tray, I would suggest doing it with more than one person because honestly, I couldn't even finish all the sodas. I just couldn't finish them all. I started to get like that gas bubble feeling in your stomach. Too much soda, way too much. I did try them all, but I didn't finish them all. And anyhow, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I did too. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye. I feel like I need someone to pat me on the back and burp me. Ugh.